Rui Lopez opening, Berlin defense, 4.d3 bc5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. Nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. It is the last book move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This prepares the bishop for development. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This threatens to pin a knight. It is good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is best. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This is a missed chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. This may succeed in winning a bishop. That's good. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. 
This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.